Hi, uh, my name is Lillian. I'm 37, just turned 37 yesterday actually, and I live in Lehigh Acres, Florida. I'm outside of my car today um, because I thought the car would be a, a great quiet place to make my first video and probably subsequent videos because it is quiet. I've seen other people uh, video in their car and I, I agree it's it's nice and contained and the lighting isn't too bad I, I think but I'm, I'm not too sure about the whole lighting thing. The reason why I'm making a video today for the first time ever is that I wanted to share um, you know a journey that I'm that I've just started on and uh, I hope to help others that you know find themselves to be in the same situation or similar situation or that are getting ready to start this journey or start their journey like like I am and that journey is transitioning into wearing dentures yep uh, at such a young age uh, the reason why I found myself in this predicament would go back to when I was a child uh, and that's when it started and that was when I had really bad ear infections I ended up having the bilateral tubes in both ears bilateral um, and I was given a medicine called tetracycline I think that's what it's called and that left a very dark yellow stain across the front teeth and that when you're a kid oh man that was rough I remember looking in my you know elementary school photos and it's like oh, I hated my teeth they weren't perfect anyways but then to have this obvious yellow band it just I hated it so I've never had you know the straight white teeth or even if they weren't straight at least white would be good but no never had that I didn't, it wasn't lucky then when I went got into high school I got braces uh, I was going into 10th grade I got braces and um, uh, I ended up becoming pregnant when I was 16 my junior year of high school so my mom was a single mom herself and uh, she couldn't afford the orthodontic payments with the obstetrician payments couldn't do both at the same time so naturally we put the orthodontic treatment on hold while we you know through my pregnancy but what we found was after the baby was born there still wasn't enough money for the orthodontic treatment it just there wasn't I had two jobs and I was in my last six months of high school because I had my son when I was a actually a junior in, in high school so uh, you know I had the last six months from January to, to June to finish up so you know just uh, it's tough when I mean being a parent is expensive and tough anyways but then being a single parent it's just much harder so I of course uh, you know made my son my priority and taking care of him and that's I wasn't able to, to resume so I left my braces on too long um, I actually didn't get them taken off until I think I had them on for like uh, gosh I think 10 years maybe uh, yeah it was yeah I had them on for a long time one time I, I think I would have needed to have them on for like four years anyways I wasn't the standard two-year case but yeah so I ended up going and you know they took them off for free because I explained the situation but that you know that ruined my enamel so then it you know after I had my third child uh, you know after I got the braces off I noticed I had issues and so I started working on it, you know, having crowns and fillings and such. I did get the gum cleaning, the gum, gum scaling. I, so I was, you know, starting to get it repaired. But I left my ex-husband. It was my choice. Um, and so being a single mom now of three children, wow, that was tough. So I didn't have enough money to resume my, my treatment, my dental treatment. So I just um, never really got it. I never really went back to get it fixed. Um, I I was overwhelmed by it and I just was scared and I knew it would cost a lot of money and I just didn't have the money and so I thought well I'm not gonna be able to afford it so why even go honestly I'm just being perfectly honest I mean it's not like sticking your head in the sand about it would make it go away it's not like you can ignore it but I just didn't do anything about it and um, it's affected a lot of aspects of my life you know it it, it made me not like obviously my smile I wasn't as confident as I I would have been had I had a, a, a nicer smile 
and uh, I can tell a huge difference already. Just, it's been, I had my corrections done on May 23rd, so it's not, it's two weeks tomorrow, and I already feel so much better. I laugh more, I mean, I laughed before, but I, I can smile and not have to worry about, I gotta make my lips just right. I can be close to my fiance and not have to worry about the the breath and, you know, oh, can you see my issues? I mean, my front teeth look fine, but two, uh, three weeks ago, I broke my canine teeth and that's what really kicked me into I gotta get this done I, I made such such changes recently from October of 2015 to January 2016 I lost 45 pounds from walking twice a day stopping drinking soda and sweet tea and you know eating healthy I eat healthy so I did all that and I run now I do 5k runs and uh, all that and so I took care of my body but I needed to take care of my mouth so I was like you know what I, this is a whole new year for me I am I'm getting this done let's do this so I can feel good and I can smile big and say yeah I lost you know 55 pounds now because that's what it is now and uh, you know when I get my medals when I win because I, 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 I usually place in the races I do I've I've done what six races and I've placed in five so I like to smile with my medal and I feel like I had to smile you know like this so now I can smile big I haven't run ran a race yet but when I do I'm gonna smile really big so I feel much better about the decision I made I went to affordable dentures in Fort Myers but when I first broke the tooth I went to Aspen Dental thinking, oh, they'll just crown it and then I'll, let's get everything else fixed too. We'll start working on it. I, I might have to only do one tooth a month, but let's get this going. So, um, Aspen, they were very nice, very nice people, but their treatment plan cost was astronomical. It was $10,000. What? That's a car. I mean, my Equinox used a year old was, what, twenty. Five thousand dollars? That's like half of a vehicle. Uh, I don't have that kind of money. Had I, I wouldn't be in this situation. So I was like, wow, okay, well, let's do, I'll have to do the care credit. But I called a friend of mine, she has dentures and she's you know younger, she's not she's older than me, but she's still young. Um, and she went to affordable dentures. So I made an appointment for them and um, I went and saw them and their treatment plan with the most expensive denture, which is made with materials by a company called um, Ivoclar Vivident. They make, they made, um, uh, if you've ever seen a, another girl on, on YouTube, her name, her, her YouTube channel name is Kaylin Jacks. Her name's Caitlin. They made, uh, that company made her uh, final bridges. So, oh my God, phenomenal. And I only knew about that company because of Caitlin, watching all her videos. So. Uh, kudos to her my gosh she's amazing uh, she gave me the courage to come on here because I never I didn't think I was gonna do this but the more I watched other people I was like you know their videos are older so we need to have something now in 2016 because some of the products that they used like um, uh, cushion grip is no longer available so what are we gonna use because everyone loved that but it's not available anymore so anyways um, I you know went to affordable dentures and I got the um, ultra denture they call it and that's for, with the Ivoclar Vivadin um, but that will be for my permanent these are just temper uh, the immediate so they they said they use the economy um, but my treatment plan ended up being five thousand five hundred dollars I did use the care credit and uh, so my payments are gonna be um, 139 a month so that's good um, so I I had my extractions done on Monday the 23rd of May, so I'm almost two, into two weeks of this. This is my second immediate set, or uh, set of immediates. Uh, the reason why is my first set, I liked them, I was happy I was happy with them, but I couldn't close my lips all the way, like to, you know, I couldn't do it easily, and then I couldn't make the, I call it the kissy face, but I couldn't do that. And you need your lips to be able to close when you want to try to drink something because you need to make contact with your lips on the cup or b water bottle or, or whatever. So that was really tough for me. So they said, yeah, you'll need a new set. We can't fix that. Uh, so I went in uh, last week to get new um, uh, impressions done because I was able to bite down better. 
well, that went well, so yay, that was fine. But uh, the reason why I'm telling you guys all this is because I want to warn you. You need to be hyper aware when you hand your, your beautiful smile over to someone, you are trusting them. And I did that, you know. I thought, well, these people make dentures every day, all day, so, you know, they know what's up. Well, the lady, they, they were going to trim off some up here so that I could at least close my lips until I got my new one. Uh, because I wasn't able to drink stuff. So they shaved off so much that when I smile, even just normal, not the big goofy one, but just smile normal or talking normal, you can see the extraction sites. When she showed me the mirror, I was like, oh my gosh, what would you do? What, I could see the extraction sites. Why would you take it down so low? She was like, well, that's what the dentist said. Now the dentist is awesome. He's phenomenal I like him and I don't know what really happened there and you know but I was like this is I can't do this I just took a week off of work I can't take off another two days and I'm not going to work like this and even though I have my own office at work people come to me to ask me questions you know clinical questions um, I work for a cancer big 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 cancer doctor um, so they come in to ask me questions and a lot of people noticed I was out they didn't know what I was having done but they noticed I was out and um, so they come and they're like, oh, do you have a good vacation? And, you know, but so anyways, I didn't want them coming to me and ugh, that's gross. So she, the, the technician used that uh, reline stuff, which is a, it's like the color of the gum material and it's real soft and cushiony. And she used that to build it up the top more. Now what that, that was fine. I mean, it was better than nothing, but the problem is the cushion, I mean, sheesh. The reline stuff was down in the 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 bridge or whatever you call it, the where your extractions are. So it pushed my denture, the top one, down. So when I smiled, you know, you could see all gum. It was ugh, horrible. It was like you hear other people talk about, you know, all gum. That's exactly what it was. I do have pictures, so I'll ask my 14-year-old daughter to to show me how to. Um, how to, to put video or pictures up in a video format but uh, so I'll show you guys but yeah that's uh, that was horrible that, that to me has been the worst part of all this I was really mad but I wasn't a jerk about it but I was mad so my bottom line is be persistent because if I wasn't persistent they would let me go out like that and I'm not having that I'm not I'm not having that so she fixed it to the best of her abilities and to the best of the ability that you could fix it and that worked I just went around you know barely talking so, you know for that the rest of that day and, and then the next day so um, but just you know when you hand over your your dentures to them you know ask if they can make very subtle adjustments when it comes to shaving down I mean ask them to make very very subtle adjustments and then tell them to bring the denture back to you and have you try it because once you take off too much you can't just you know glue it back basically and if you do the reline stuff that will fix it and it'll be okay for like temporary um, but you, you know if you have the reline material down in the top of the denture it's gonna push your teeth down and you're gonna see gum and if you're okay with that well fine but if you have to be in the public or you just don't want to look weird like that then you you want to be um, you know very aware of how how much they're taking off and I'm sure they'll understand I mean I hope they'll understand if they don't then you know maybe you need to find someplace else that is compassionate because until you're a denture wearer you don't understand how much something so little means to you so I hope that my video um, will help others it's I appreciate all the videos that were before me I was able to kind of know what to expect and what foods and things to have on hand and all the adhesives you need to get and I'll do another video with all the the items that um, helped me during my recovery I mean I'm still recovering but that during that first week especially so uh, I, I have the items with me and I'll, I'll show everybody so I hope to help everyone and I'm new to the YouTube thing so I'm sure I'll get better as time goes by and uh, I might film in my house but you know when the kids are home I have three kids uh, you know 19 almost 17 and 14 and then my fiance is home too so you know you have people going in now and, and background noise and I can't stand when people do videos and their TV is on 
or, oh, it's so annoying, you know, and they have really good material, but it's like, oh my gosh, turn off the TV. It's so, you know, distracting, but um, I'm not perfect, so forgive me, but we'll get through this together, and uh, I hope to connect with other people in my, in my, um,